We have a 10th anomaly confirmed for interstellar object slash comet slash alien spaceship 3i Atlas. And the interesting thing is, I want to show you its current trajectory and location first before we go into the details of this mysterious new finding. And everything's quite mysterious with that thing, but this one is really wait for it so i want to show you this is the location roughly on october 21st when it was entering perihelion getting into a trajectory where the object was hidden from earth you couldn't see it from earth because the sun was in between and then it was moving further on its trajectory until where it is at its current location it has passed the point where it was closest to mars on october 2nd and october 3rd that's when nasa's high-rise camera took pictures they still haven't released these pictures maybe you have seen my last video but nasa has given a statement and they have confirmed Pro Pro professor dr harvey Löw's theory that in the other video have a look at it in the end screen so it has passed that point when it was best visible for pictures closest to Mars, but the Chinese have taken some pictures. But now, guys, where it is now, we know new stuff because it came out of perihelion, it's visible again, so we are able to see it again. So what is going on with this interstellar visitor with this confirmed alien visitor whether it's a rock or something else but it's not from our solar system and it's millions of years old probably so now we do have post perihelion images of the object 3i atlas and something that comes or that that really is obvious now and that is so strange it should have a tail like a normal comet it should have a cometary tail but in the images that we have we do not see a clear cometary tail why is that have a look at this image it was taken on november 5th taken by the r navis observatory of course as always with these pictures we see a fuzzy ball of light and the sunward direction is towards the bottom left corner with the arrow on the left that is pointing in the anti-sun anti-sun direction so we do not see any obvious cometary tail in this image and we should and uh, i'll get to this because i'll later show you a comparison of another comet that had a tail when it was in that location. So we have two new images that have been taken on November 5th of interstellar object 3i Atlas. They show a compact source of light without a clear cometary tail. The coma itself is not very different in morphology than in a, its appearance, how it looked, when the Hubble Space Telescope was able to capture it on July 21st, 2025. I'll show you the image here again. So that's basically when they discovered it. Here's the other picture that is coming from the Virtual Telescope Project. And it's also a post-perihelion image that was taken on November 5th. If you look at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory report that's coming from the California Institute of Technology, um, what they're reporting and what the Minor Planet Center is reporting, the data that they just released on the interstellar object that are following its perihelion passage on October 29th, the new data that we have now is covering a period from October 31st till November 5th. So now, when we compare the new data to the old data that we have from October, from October 5th to October 8th, 
it appears that 3i atlas has brightened by a factor roughly of five in the green band which is centered at a wavelength of 0 0.464 micrometers. The value of the non-gravitational acceleration, I've reported about this, I have a playlist in the end screen, if you want to see that, was reduced by a third relative to the value that was reported on October 29th. So this reduction is within the uncertainties. The net detection that we have now is more robust, standing at a level of 3.7 standard deviations. Sounds scientific. Let me explain this. Scientists looked again at the interstellar object after it passed closest to the sun on October 29th. Yes, we know it got brighter between early October and now it became about five times brighter in a particular color of light, like a greenish light. So this means something. It means that on or around 3i Atlas, the object is reflecting more sunlight or releasing material like gas or dust. And here comes the very strange thing. It is still being pushed by something other than gravity. Here come the theories. Is it like a thrust engine or something? Because objects normally move only because of gravity, but this one is also being nudged by another force. What could that force be? It could be gas coming out of it, like a comet, dust, or something else that we do not fully understand yet. But that push is now measured more confidently, we have to say. The new data shows the effect at 3.7 sigma confidence. That means, guys, it's very unlikely to be a measurement mistake. So there is no error. They rule out error. So this is really happening. It's not a proof of anything unusual yet, but it's definitely a real phenomenon. Where is this happening is also a big question. So the object is about 206 mil million kilometers away from the sun. A little further than Earth is from the sun right now. So what direction is the push? The push has a stronger part pushing it directly away from the sun. And it has also a smaller sideways push. No push upwards or downwards. So that means the motion stays in its flight path plane. So this object is not behaving like a typical rock that is floating through space. That's confirmed. Scientists are not yet sure why. But we remember we have two more interstellar objects confirmed before 3i Atlas. They're not near as weird or strange as Atlas. But Oumuama was also getting kind of famous for some anomalies. But here comes the interesting takeaway when we look at the mass of 3i Atlas and how it has changed. So based on momentum conservation, the mass fraction lost during the perihelion passage while it was in perihelion is larger than 13%. So for a typical comet as we know it, this should have resulted in a massive, massive coma with dust and gas that would have been pushed away by the solar radiation, the radiation pressure that's coming from the sun and the solar winds. So that should have created the shape of a cometary tail, a typical cometary tail that is pointing away from the sun. But if you look at the new pictures, do you see that? No such tail is visible in the new images from November 5th. As I always say, boom, there it is. So let's have a look at a comparison. This is an image of the solar system's comet that was called Lemon. 
taken by one of the telescopes that observed also, that are now observing, 3i Atlas. So Lemon features a clear cometary tail that is pointing away from the sun as it is expected. This image is from November 3rd from the Navis Observatory. Clear cometary tail, really, really clear, right? I think you agree with me on that. And it's pointing away from the sun. So we have another anomaly. And you might ask, what are the other anomalies? Well, we've got 10 now, guys. Just quickly, I'll let you know. First one, its retrograde trajectory is aligned to within five degrees with the ecliptic plane of the planets around the sun with a likelihood of 0.2%. Number two, during July and August 2025, it displayed a sunward jet, a, a, a jet towards the sun, an anti-tail, that is not an optical illusion from geometric perspective, unlike familiar comets. It was not an optical illusion. It was real. Number three, its nucleus is about a million times more massive than that of Oumuamua and a thousand time, times more massive than the other interstellar object, the 2i Borisov. And it's moving faster than both of the other interstellar objects altogether, that would have a likelihood of less than 0.1%. Number four, its arrival time was fine-tuned to bring it within tens of millions of kilometers from Mars, Venus, and Jupiter, and be unobservable from Earth at perihelion, with a likelihood of 0.005%. Number five, it's gas plume, much more nickel than iron. That is also found, that composition is also found in industrially produced nickel alloys. So is this thing not natural? And a nickel to cyanide ratio that is orders of magnitudes larger than that of all known comets that we ever have looked at, including the other interstellar object to I Borisov, and that's a likelihood below 1%. Number six, its gas plume contains only 4% water by mass, primary constituent of familiar comets. Number seven, it shows extreme negative polarization, unexpected for all known comets, including the previous interstellar objects, likelihood below 1%. And number eight, it arrived from a direction coincident with the, that was sent previously. Now it comes, guys, it's, I'm just telling you, co coincident with that radio signal, the wow signal into with to nine degrees and that has a likelihood of 0.6%. So where they sent out a signal to look for aliens, that thing is coming from that direction. What a coincidence, guys, it's crazy. And number nine, that happened when it was near perihelion. It brightened faster than any known comet and it was way bluer than the sun, which is very unusual. And number 10, I reported about that as well in one of my last videos. It exhibits now non-gravitational acceleration, which requires massive evaporation of at least 13% of its mass. But preliminary post-perihelion images do not show evidence for that so far. Has it really lost that? So guys, it remains a mystery. Check my latest video about the statement that NASA has made and the other information that comes from China. So it remains interesting. I'll be on the pulse of this for you guys. Hype, like, subscribe, click the end screen. Then I see you in a second. I would love to see you there. Thanks for watching and stay safe. See you here.